So should you buy the small rig cage or should you buy the small rig grip for your Canon M50? And I think this is a question I get quite a bit, but I probably don't get it as much as I should because I feel like there's a lot of people out there that are actually purchasing the wrong one for their intended use case. So I'm gonna take you through all the details of the differences between the two and give you sort of a recommendation about which one of these might be best for you based on how you're using your camera. And from here on in, I'm actually gonna to refer to what is commonly called the grip as the L bracket because this is actually an L bracket. It gets that name because it wraps around in sort of the shape of an L, as you can see. That's why it's called the L bracket. And both of the units have an Arca Swiss plate on the bottom of either the L bracket or the cage. And what that allows you to do is without putting a tripod plate on the bottom of your camera, you are able to just use your um, cage or L bracket and you can mount it and take it easily on and off like that. So they both have that same level of functionality. Also, because both of them are covering the bottom of the camera, they both give you protection from the bottom of the camera. That's one of the most vulnerable places on the camera and one of the places that gets damaged the most frequently just from picking it up and down. So both of the units are gonna give you that same level of protection on the bottom of the camera and they're gonna give you that Arca Swiss functionality that can go uh, straight into any Arca Swiss mount tripod or whatever accessory you're using. They both have the little magnetic screwdrivers on them or the magnetically attached flathead screwdrivers. It's just on the side of the grip and on the bottom of the uh, cage. So both of them have that. Now, when it comes to differences, the L bracket has a number of advantages over the cage. And to start with, it has a wooden handle. Now, you might not think, a uh, wooden handle, the look of it is probably personal preference. But what the wooden handle does is it actually means that if you're in a cold environment or if you're sort of not used to having your hands holding a cage, which is holding sort of a metal grip, it can be a little bit disconcerting and in a cold environment, it can be downright cold and freeze your fingers. Uh, the, 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 obviously the wood grip is more insulated, it feels more comfortable, it feels more natural and it feels more like holding sort of the rubber grip on your camera. So that's one advantage for the L bracket. I also think comparing the two that the L bracket actually has a nicer grip. I think it is actually nicer to hold on to. It, it just does feel a little bit nicer in the hands. I don't know if that's the wood. I think it is a little bit deeper as well, but I think just purely as a grip to holding on to, it is a nicer experience with the L bracket. Now the L bracket also has a second Arca Swiss plate on the side of it. So if you are shooting a landscape orientation shot and you've got it on like this, and I'll just give you an example here. So you've got it on like this and you're shooting your shot and then you decide that you want to do a portrait orientation, which is something very commonly done in landscape photography. You can take that off and you will see on the back of the L bracket, there's a little line. And if you just put that line and line it up in the middle of your clamp, now you have got the identical composition, but you are in portrait mode versus landscape mode. So you can switch back and forth very quickly and you are, whatever's in the center of the frame in the one shot is going to be in the center of the frame in the other shot. Now, a lot of tripods do have this functionality where you can sort of, and uh, just get this here, where you can sort of flip the camera down to the side and get a shot like this, uh, which you can do with the cage, but that actually changes the composition of your shot. So uh, particularly landscape photographers really like that functionality and I do too. So I think uh, if you're taking photos and you're going back and forth between those two orientations, I think we've got an advantage there to the L bracket. Now the L bracket also has the ability to slide this side of the bracket out. So I just grab my little screwdriver here. I loosen this off. I can slide this out and tighten it up. And what that's going to do is that is going to give me access to the microphone port on this side of the camera, which is nice. Now, since the, the cage itself doesn't have the ability to mount Arca Swiss on the side, like the bracket does, you still have access to the microphone port and it's quite easy to get in there and do what you want. But if you are mounting this on its side and you want to be using the microphone port, obviously you need to slide this out so that you have room for that cable to get in and get out. So that's sort of the workaround for that. Uh, the other side effect of having this is this can act like a second grip for video. So 
to give you some more stability when using the camera, you can hold this here and hold this here. And now you've got a sort of a two-handed setup that's kind of built right into the camera. And I very commonly use it like this when I am shooting video and I find it quite useful. So I think the wood look on the handle is a matter of personal preference, but if you prefer the look of the wood, then that is a positive for the L bracket. And I know a lot of people do like the look of the wood, not just the feel and the shape, but they do like the look of the wood. And I actually find that when I'm out in public, sometimes people see me when I've got the wood grip on or the L bracket on, and they make comments or compliments about the camera, like somehow it makes it special or extra cool or something. So. There is a possibility that you might prefer the aesthetic of one over the other, and certainly the little wood grip does get a bit of attention. The other thing about this setup is this L bracket not only just slides out, but it's also completely removable. So now I've removed it. Now we've made this much smaller. So now this has truly gone from an L bracket to what would actually just be a grip. And an advantage of this is now compared to the cage, which actually makes the camera sort of a bit bigger. It's bulky around here. It adds bulk to the top. Now, really all you've done is you've added your protective plate on the bottom and you've added your handle here. You've also taken some weight off the setup. So now you've got a really good grip, probably better than we've got with the cage and you've got a very light setup. So if really the only thing you're looking to do is get a better grip out of it, this is, I would say, quite a superior setup using it like this. And I will put my best price links for both the cage and the L bracket in the description down below that just take you through to the best possible prices from a number of the credible suppliers. Now, having a look at the cage, we're gonna get a little bit more protection with the cage because it really wraps around the whole camera, including the top of the camera. So if you're walking in a doorway or something and you bump it to get something, you're more likely to hit the cage than the top of the camera. If you're just using the L bracket, there's nothing there to protect it. So you're definitely gonna hit the top of the camera. So you've got a little bit more protection there. The cage also has an extra cold shoe mount. Now this can come in handy uh, if you've got a microphone and then you want to add an additional small light, like a fill light. It also comes in handy if you're using like the Deity Pocket Wireless because there's a setup that you can use with the Deity Pocket Wireless and the Deity D4 Duo or Deity D4 Mini where you actually have an on-camera microphone that works on one channel of the recording and the other one is a wireless microphone input so you can put your wireless receiver on the one cold shoe mount and then you can put your main microphone on the hot shoe mount on top of the camera so it does give you some extra functionality with an extra cold shoe mount there for sort of whatever you might want to mount on the camera you've obviously got a lot more mounting points so you've actually got mounting points on this side which is actually the grip side on the L bracket you don't have that you have the uh, mounting points across the top which you don't get on the L bracket the L bracket does have them on the side but you get uh, probably more of them and a better layout on the side of this one this means, uh, for one, if you're going to use a top handle, you can't use a top handle with the L bracket because there's no place to mount the top handle, uh, particularly if you're using like heavy lenses, uh, like a big adapted lens. I often, for video, like to mount sort of the handle, top handle reversed, and that creates a really well-balanced setup. So you hold it here, and then you've got the lens out here, and it sort of shifts the center of gravity, so it kind of really hangs super nicely. Um, and then you've also got it, you can put it in more of the traditional manner uh, backwards, but certainly when I'm using a big heavy lens, I like to, to mount it like this. This also means if you mount it like this, you've got access to the viewfinder if you want to use the viewfinder for shooting video or photos, where obviously when you're doing this, it's going to hit you in the head. And the other thing that the cage has, it has a mounting point for an RE handle, which small rig make an RE handle, or there's a number of different RE accessories you can get. It's a very specific mounting uh, system or point, which has a thread in the middle and two small pins on the outside. And this is really turns it into a really stable cinema rig. And I think it's a, sort of a pretty cool setup. So that's just a little bit of extra functionality and an extra mounting option you get with the rig that you don't get with the L bracket. The other thing is the cage. With the cage, you've got the full range of the screen motion. With the L bracket, that's one disadvantage. When you actually have that side L bracket on the L bracket and it's not removed just to use it as a grip, it actually only allows you to flip the screen out. If you wanna flip it the other way, you have to flip it before and flip it flat. But when it's in this position, you can't tilt it this way because this is actually blocking it from doing so. so that's a pretty, pretty important one. So 
Obviously with the grip or the L bracket, you can actually take this little mounting or this little L piece off. So if you're just using it as a grip, you'll have full functionality. But if you did plan on using this, you can't use this and have the full range of motion of the screen at the same time, which might be a big one for some people. Probably a bigger deal for video shooters than it is photographers. So when I compare these two, who should buy what? Well, I think Generally speaking, for video, I think the cage gives you more functionality, and what you will find is in general video shooting, the cage is the preferred option, and that's what you see in Hollywood. They're all using full cages on their camera. It gives you more mounting points, it gives you more flexibility, gives you the top handle, uh, gives you the RE side handle mount, gives you full range of motion of the screen, so if you're doing those low shots. So I think for video, for most people, the cage is a better option. Now, if you're only doing photography or you're primarily doing photography, I like the ability to use the L bracket and quickly switch into the two different modes. I think that's, that's a pretty cool thing. I also like the ability to actually take the L part of the L bracket off and strictly use this as a, as a, uh, as a better grip. So I think if you're doing photography, I think you're probably better off with the L bracket. The other thing I'd say is if you're leaning towards the cage because you're doing video, but you don't think you're actually going to use all this other stuff and all these mounting points, and you're primarily looking to get a better grip, then this L bracket with the L bracket piece taken off is, in my mind, actually a much better grip. It's also lighter. And once you take that L bracket piece off, you have full range of the motion so it doesn't kind of screw up your video shots if you're trying to do, do a low angle shot and you want to be using that tilted video screen. So I think there still are video shooters that should be looking at the L bracket. And really what these cages are all about is the same thing that this channel is all about, which is getting the best in photo and video with the gear that you can afford or the gear that you already have. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that bell notification.